In this video, I will demonstrate how to easily turn on Excel list of addresses into customized map pins on Google Maps. You can see here I have some data for warehouse. In this list, I have the warehouse name, location and some other columns. We will see in a moment how I am going to put this data into Google Maps. First I will go to the Google search and here I will search for Google My Maps. Now I will open this link where it says google.com slash my maps. Here I will create a new map. Now in this window I need to import this data, the data you see here. So I will just click on this import link and I will upload the file here. Now it detected all the columns. It says which is the address field. In my case the location is the address field. So I'll select location. I need to select this address field correctly so that Google can find those locations to create the pins. So I'll click on continue and pick a column to use as the title for the place marks. So I'll select warehouse name. This warehouse name should be the title for the pins. So I'll click on finish now. It will take a moment. Now you see I have all the addresses on this map. Now when I click on any of this pin, I see all the data. The title that is coming from the first column we selected after uploading and the other things. Location, size, type, ownership and all the other columns I have here. You see here on this excel file I have added a colon after the header so that I can see a colon here, nice colon after all the headings. So you see all the pins are in blue but if you want to change the color then you can do it here. Under all items you see this bucket here click on this and pick a color. Also you can change the pin style. Currently it is home but it has multiple other options. It has a list of icons you can use. For now I'll use the default location pin and now all the pins are red. If you want to change it to something else just click on this bucket and select an icon here. Under this uniform style I have the style uniform. Same style for all the pins. If I select individual styles here then I can select different colors and different icons for all the separate pins. You see I selected the blue color and this icon for this, for this I can select uh, this green color and this icon and so on. So you have the freedom to update the icons separately. If I select sequence of numbers it will add numbers. It added all the numbers serially 1 to 30. One more option you will see here that is style data by column. So if I select a column name here, it will create the icons and the colors accordingly. Created separate icon colors for separate pins. I just want the uniform style. I have another video on how to get latitude and longitude for bulk addresses. You will find the link of this video in the video description. You can also add more address, update any address or delete any address. For that, I'll click on this layer option and I'll select open data table. If you want to update any of this, like if I want to update this square feet, to delete a row, right click on the number of the row and click on this delete row option. It will delete that from the map. If you want to add a new data, just click on this add row and start entering data for that row. You see the location shows warning. This is because it doesn't have a valid location. I'll rename the map to something like warehouse location and save it. Also you can update the background of the map if you select this base map option and pick a style for the map. Any style you want. It has 6 styles so I'll select this for now. Also you can share this map with other people. You see the share button here. Click on this. It has 2 options. Turn this on and you will get a link and this link will be accessible to anyone. They don't need to have a google account. I am opening this on a new private tab and you see. I can view the map here. If I click on this, I see the details here. So this is how it looks when I share the map with someone else. I can add images here. You need to add images individually for the locations. If I click on this icon, I'll select an image and save this. Now when I click on this, I can see the image here. I can add images for the other pins also. It doesn't have an image, but it has an image. You can embed this map on a website. For that, first you need to share the map and turn on this option. Anyone with this link can view and save it. Click on this menu. See this option embed on my website. When I click on this, I'll get this code. I don't want to include the owner's profile, so I'll disable this. Now I'll copy this and here on this demo website, I'll embed the code. This is a WordPress website. I'll select HTML blog and I'll paste the code. Here I'll change the width to 1000 so it looks nice and the height to 680. This is how the map looks. 
When I click on this and here I see all the information. Also you can change the default view of the embedded map. If I want to display the map like this. So now I'll go here and set default view. Again I'll copy the embed code from here. I'll update this code with the new code. Again I'll change this to 1040 is good and like 680 okay good and save the draft. You can zoom in or zoom out. Click on any of the location and you see the details here at the left side. Watch this video to learn how to draw radius circles on Google Maps. You will find the link of this video in the description. Thank you for watching. If you like the video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.